Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Xiang here again. Uh, before I start with the question today, I must take some time to say a big thank you to all the parents who actually made the effort to drop me a message, to call me, or to drop me an email to tell me how much their children are actually enjoying the videos and how the videos are actually helping them. And uh, especially the positive comments from fellow tutors and from academics um, on how clear the solutions are. Thank you very much for the positive words. It really motivates me to do more, and I'll try my level best to do more. So for today, I will do a very simple question, um, or rather a question that can be solved with uh, two very simple models. So here we go. The total distance jumped by Jean, Eve, and May for a standing broad jump test was 5 meters. The total distance jumped by Jean and Eve was 3.34 meters. The total distance jumped by Eve and May was this. So how far did Eve jump for the standing broad jump test? So first of all, we must we, we are given this. We were given this, so let us start with that. So we have a total model which looks something like this. Okay. And in it we have three characters. Okay. Now how big the model is does not matter. Okay. G, Eve, and May. And the total distance is 5 meters. So here we go. 5 meters. Now, the total distance jumped by Jean and Eve, happened to be here, okay, is 3.34 meters. So it's quite clear at this point in time, primary 3 or primary 2 children will be able to see that uh, to find. May, you just take 5 minus 3.34 meters, you get uh, 1.6, sorry, uh, yeah, 1.66. Okay, so May jumped 1.66 meters. The total distance jumped by Eve and May was this. So actually, we don't need to bother with Jean. What I would prefer to do is to just draw a model for Eve and May. Okay. Again, whose model is larger, whose model is smaller, it really doesn't matter. And the total here is 3.29. Okay. 3.29 meters. And we know that May is jumped 1.66. So to find Eve is just 3.29 subtract 1.66 you get uh, 1.63 so Eve jumped 1.63 meters there you have it, your answer so it's very straightforward um, it's just that you need to be careful uh, with the model, the arrangement of the model other than that it's pretty straightforward now, um, a lot of parents are asking me about classes at my center. And uh, sorry, no, I don't conduct personal one to one classes. Uh, if you like, we can arrange for consultations. Okay, uh, since the demand is there and there are people asking for it, really asking for the help, yes, we are open to that suggestion based on availability because my time is pretty tight. Um, next, um, a lot of parents are asking about the sharing session about the um, item setting. That will come together, the announcement will come together with all the uh, extra lessons that we're going to do for the PSI revision. So within the next few days, I will put up an announcement. Um, the best mode or the best way to get news about it is actually to like our Facebook page, uh, Junior Wonders Tuition Center, because uh, there are some I'm sorry to say, but there are some uh, Facebook pages that do not allow us to overtly uh, advertise. So you may miss out on the announcement if when we release it. So we will put up the notice on our Facebook page first. Then we will put it up on the other Facebook pages. So what will happen is we will be selecting some topics amongst them. Definitely uh, speed and distance and time as one. We will do our P6 revision, topical. And um, you can choose which one you want to come for. And 
the sharing session for the item setting will come together. So how it's going to all work out, I'm still in the process of finalizing it. Stay tuned and I will release news really, really soon. In the meantime, have a good day ahead and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.